today's feast day has an interesting history. It goes all the way back to the fourth century. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to lead a pilgrimage over to Italy, and we went to Rome, and we were able to go to what's called the Scavi, which are the archaeological ruins underneath St. Peter's Church. And there, they've discovered through their excavations a first century cemetery, which actually, uh, with it, uh, graves of an even earlier cemetery. And there they've discovered what they believe, archeologists believe, are the remains of St. Peter. Won't go into all of the details there, but one of the things that struck me is that so many of the early Christians wanted to be buried near St. Peter. In fact, uh, there are markings on some of the tombs that indicate just precisely that desire. They wanted to be near Peter because he was this great hero of the, of the church, early of the, hero of the early church, honored as the chief of the apostles, the vicar of Christ. In the fourth century, th there was a feast day that began to grow up of honoring deceased ones, in, in some ways, kind of like our feast of All Saints Day today but it was associated with, with Peter, and there was an empty chair. So when we've lost a loved one, there's an ache in our hearts, and there's a symbol there of the emptiness of where a loved one used to sit. That was the origins of the feast, of this empty chair of remembering loved ones and remembering the loss of Peter. Eventually, when the feast of St. Peter and Paul was moved to another day, we kept this feast day of the chair of Peter, but it changed from not simply remembering lost loved ones, but the authority that is given. For in Latin, the word chair is cathedra, and every, the, hence we get the word cathedral from that name, and that chair, the cathedra, becomes the symbol of the archbishop's authority. The title that Pope Francis prefers for himself is actually not Pope, which is uh, Italian for uh, uh, Papa or Father, um, but the Bishop of Rome. That's the more ancient title for the Pope, is the Bishop of, of Rome, in communion with all of the other bishops ar around the world. And yet there's a singular honor that is given to the Bishop of Rome. That's our tradition. So today's feast day is not simply about a piece of furniture. It's about that apostolic succession in our belief as Roman Catholics that there's a special dignity authority that is given to the Holy Father as successor of Peter. I spoke from this pulpit a, a few weeks ago about uh, Pope Francis' speak, speaking out on the immigration crisis. Six months ago, eight months ago, uh, the Pope set up his um, special intentions that he would ask us to pray for in the apostleship of prayer. Every month there's a special intention. This month, and, and I find this extremely ironic, the intention that the Pope has asked us to pray for are for immigrants and for the poor and for those who are disenfranchised within their society. With the events of the last month, th these issues which are very contentious within our society and which divide us as Americans and which divide us as Catholics, this is the intention that the Pope many, many months ago asked us to pray for this month. Wherever we stand on that spectrum, I hope we could stand together in praying with the Holy Father for those in our society who are disenfranchised, for those who are immigrants, for those who are refugees, for those who lack le legal status, for those who are in the underbelly of our society, the Pope has raised this special intention up and said, at this time, let's pray for this. I hope that wherever we are, politically on that, that we can come together in praying with the Holy Father. Amen.